Hey guys, Amber here with Gear Up, and it's Self Defense Awareness Month for the entire month of January. And in honor of Self Defense Awareness Month, we will be discounting all of our self defense type items. This includes stun guns, pepper sprays, and even for the first time ever, just don't tell our vendors, ballistic plates will also be on sale. So Pricing on the ballistic plates discount will be a little bit less, but everything else will have a significant discount. We'll be announcing that on our social media, so make sure to pay attention to that or our emails. If you haven't liked and subscribed already to our video, it'll be much appreciated. Just hit that subscribe button down below. Um, <clears throat> and comments and likes are much appreciated as a small business, so we thank you guys for your support. So in today's video, though, because it's Self-Defense Awareness Month, we are going to be talking about stun guns. Now, stun guns are an essential and great item to have on you if you, even if you do conceal carry. Just as a whole, self-defense type item, a stun gun is a great item to keep on hand with you that can be discreet, help you get away, and cause enough damage where you're not going to actually kill somebody, essentially. Um, and we're gonna talk kind of about how stun guns work. We're gonna show you a little bit of our stun guns here in the store that we have available, uh, both in store and online. And the reason I'm standing here is because most of our stun guns are actually in this showcase, although in our survival room, we do have an entire self-defense wall. Some, some stun guns will be hung up there along with our pepper spray, but mostly we're here. So the, the main difference people get a little bit confused about, uh, before I get started, I'm wearing my Desert Digital hoodie, as you can see here, because Desert Camo is our Camo of the Month for the entire month of January. So come load up on that Desert Camo the, the whole month of January and get it at some great pricing. Um, one of the more common questions when it comes to stun guns is people call it a taser. Um, so it's important to kind of know the difference between a stun gun and a taser. Now, tasers are typically used by law enforcement and sometimes security. And what a taser does is it's something that you can kind of pull, aim, and shoot. And it shoots out prongs that are going to latch on a person and just continue to shock them, causing them to kind of spaz and uh, tense up. The effects of a stun gun and taser are pretty similar to be quite honest with you. Tasers uh, have a little bit more voltage and shock and due to the prongs being in the person, uh, it's a continuous shock that does not stop until they are pulled, which is something to, to kind of keep in mind. Um, tasers for a while were not legal for civilian use. Now, if, they're 50, if they shoot 15 feet or under, civilians can have them and we do carry a taser pulse. Uh, at times, we're currently sold out of it now. We may get it again, get it in again, and we definitely can offer some special ordering for those. But stun guns, to me, is an option that anybody can use. Somebody who's not necessarily as comfortable uh, with a concealed carry and using a gun, somebody who's not as comfortable as you know aiming, even pepper spray can sometimes be a little bit difficult. You know, turning and holding down. Stun gun is a great self defense type item, and it's so small and concealable. The way a stun gun works is there's different voltage. So I'll just pull this pain pin, which is one of our best sellers here. 25 million voltage on this one, 18 million voltage on this one, uh, 28 million, you know, and then we got 12 million on this baton one. So people always want to opt for the highest voltage typically, which is great. Um, however, one thing to keep in mind is voltage is important and you always want to probably be at 14 million or up to truly get it. But the voltage is actually calculated by the shock and the shock multiplied by the amplification. So when you press it, that initial shock, along with how much charge and how much power it has, is how they kind of calculate the voltage. The thing important about stun guns is they're all gonna work pretty much the same way. The initial shock might be a little bit different, but how you are able to successfully deploy and get away from a potential assailant is by holding a stun gun to somebody for a longer period of time. The longer the stun gun is held against the skin or against somebody, the more effect it has on the muscles. Um, another great thing to keep in mind is the sound alone from a stun gun can sometimes be enough to just get somebody away. Okay, this person has a weapon, they're prepared, it's not worth the hassle. So being comfortable, and even if you see somebody coming, if you don't wanna be a discreet where you wait for the attack and then kind of make the move, just, Pulling it out and letting them know you're ready can be enough to deter a potential attacker from coming at you. So keep in mind, voltage, yes, it's important because that initial shock can be the difference in getting somebody off of you and being able to get away. However, the longer you hold, the same effect it's going to have by causing the muscles to spasm and potentially knocking down a attacker. So 
I'm going to get into some of the different stun gun uh, scenarios. So one thing I think is important when purchasing your stun gun is you want to have something you're comfortable with, number one. That's the most important. So um, something that you're not afraid of, something that you can feel comfortable learning how to use, and you need to practice with it at home. You don't want to be scrambling, looking how to use it, and never have done it before, and then all of a sudden, you know, you failed in, in your mission to get away. So um, you want to have something you're comfortable using, something that you can use easily. Uh, and secondly, you want something concealable, in my opinion. You want something that you can keep with you, even if it's walking from the grocery store to your car. You want to have something where you can pull it right out of your pocket, have it ready. Get Once you get to your car, you can put it right back in your pocket, unload the groceries. Always be aware, though. It's self-defense awareness, but be aware of your surroundings. Something concealable, something easy to use, I think is critical when you're purchasing your stun gun. So those are my two main pointers uh, when customers come in here and ask. Um, I have preferences, obviously. I've given my wife a stun gun that I, I like for her to use, that she's getting comfortable using, and she's Canadian, so this is all foreign to her with uh, the weapons and things like that. Uh, but you know, regardless of where you live, it's a real threat. You know, There's people out there that are going to try potentially try to harm you or rob you or, or something not to be drastic and dramatic but it's the reality of the world we live in unfortunately so talking about a few stun guns so let's talk about this one first because this one is something that can have a double this is really a triple use so this is our baton stun gun so it's a tactical stun gun uh, the batteries aren't in it so we keep it keep the batteries separate and it comes with a charger to charge the batteries so it's great most stun guns are rechargeable which makes it great a lot of our stun guns come with a lifetime warranty from uh, the vendors too, which proves how good quality, but this is a baton stun gun. So you can essentially use this as a baton weapon, uh, as a flashlight and a stun gun. So now this is great, a great thing to kind of keep maybe in your car or to have in a tactical build out bag, uh, something of that nature. It gives you kind of the weapons. It has a nice clip on it. Security police also like something like this if they don't want to use the taser. So this is a good option for more of a car type use to have, um, or if you're going in dangerous areas. Uh, and this one, I mean, 12 million volts, it's, it's not that much, but it's how much you hold it against somebody that's gonna make the difference. So uh, another great one, this is by Sabre. So they're really well known for their pepper spray. They've done a great job with pepper spray um, and stuff. And they also have some stun guns. This is a stun gun uh, and a flashlight combination. This comes with a nice carrying pouch as well. Um, so this is a good one. You can kind of keep on your belt. You have it as a flashlight. A great option if you want a flashlight stun gun combination, uh, just like this one here. This is a 98 million mini stun gun. This is a great one to have as well. You can keep in the purse. You got the belt clip. Uh, this one's not charged, so the stun, gun, the stun uh, thing's not gonna be active. But you got a flashlight mode, and then by just pushing it up, flashlight mode, stun gun mode activated. Nice belt clip put it right on your belt and this one might come with a carrying case as well if I'm not mistaken uh, no carrying case but it does have a little string so if you want to put it around your wrist this is good this is also popular amongst many females um, just back in stock I found this is a great one to keep in your car or your purse it looks literally just like a phone if you want to be very discreet you know what it is it's extremely lightweight uh, we're not gonna pull and deploy this one but 14 million voltage same thing it's also got a flashlight mode uh, it's got a protective film that you can remove. So this literally looks like a phone. So if you feel like somebody's coming and you want to be discreet, you can literally pull this up to your act like you're talking to somebody for help. If they still approach you, you've got a weapon that you can just deploy right on them. Great option uh, to be kind of discreet. And uh, you can kind of play mind games where you're acting like you're already calling for help. So it could also be a deterrent. So that's why the, the Fry phone, they call it, or this iPhone stun gun is a popular choice amongst many people. Um, the pain pin. This is probably... This and our Stingring are our two best sellers, and this one is brand new. So I imagine this one is going to take off with our best selling. But the pain pin's great. Uh, same thing, very easy to deploy, fully rechargeable. You can see how much charge is on it by pressing this up. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it shows you all four are blue, which means it's good to go. You can put it on a clip and then button. Very easy to use, nice, loud sound. This is 25 million volts. This is a great option. Whether you want to put it in your purse, your pocket, your clip, it is so small, easy to kind of deploy. And look, stun guns off, I'm touching the, the prong area. So there's no reason to be scared. Stun guns have prongs. So the prong area is where the voltage comes. And as you hold it up to somebody, that's how it's going to be deployed. Uh, I don't think I spoke about that. So pain pin, great option. 
And then this one's my favorite, to be honest with you. It's our uh, sting ring. So very easy to use, very concealable. This one's great if you're going in a car. Plenty of fingers can fit in it. You slide this up and look, I'm, I'm pretty much holding a fist. It's not deployed. The way this one deploys is there's a red button on the bottom. So as you do it, you slide your thumb and you've got it deployed as a stun gun option. This is a great concealed option for stun guns as well. And they come up with a newer version. This is a triple, uh, the triple sting ring. They just came out with this one. So voltage wise, it's got 10 million more voltage. It's at 28 million, same kind of thing, but this is a three finger prong slide up and you got, you got a little bit more of a radius. So this one's going to pack a little bit more of a punch. So for the most effective widest radius, I would definitely say this one's going to cover more ground. You've got prongs here and here, which shows there's two areas to do where all the other ones I showed you have one. So great item just came in if you're interested in the stun guns you can order online or come in store and they will be discounted for the self-defense awareness month so now is a great time makes this a great gift christmas pass but a lot of people like them as stocking stuffers man woman it doesn't really matter uh gender wise stun guns are a great concealed carry self-defense op uh, option to have on you in situations and in areas where you might be shady you get a lot of security people that work work security and not so great areas. They're not allowed to carry a gun. What do they come and do? They just get a stun gun where they can walk from the event to the car or even have it as a last minute option should they get attacked or something of like that and they can't get their pepper spray out. So stun guns, great self-defense option. You can conceal them. They're gonna allow you to get away and they have that scare mechanism just from the sound alone that can kind of help you ward off a potential assailant. So keep that in mind. Drop your comment below. Uh, what's your favorite kind of stun gun? If you bought one from us, what do you look for in a stun gun? And if you have any questions, ask below. I'm happy to help and, and assist and, and tell you guys and spread the knowledge that I have on these items. And, you know, I may misspeak. I had a pepper spray versus pepper gel video. I misspoke on one of them. Someone left a comment. They were correct. I, I, I acknowledge that. I appreciate the feedback. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I, I try to um, be as knowledgeable as possible amongst these items and try to spread that knowledge to you guys. But at the same time, there might be somebody who's adamant reader on stun guns and knows a little bit more about me and I appreciate any feedback. So if you're looking for a stun gun though, come see us. The self-defense awareness sale will be going on all month long, January 1st through January 31st. So in any items that we don't have in store, if you do want to special order them, if they're not in store, we will special order them for you and give you that discounted price, even if they do not get in by January. So if it's gift items and you want to get a bunch of them, it's a great time to do it so you can save significantly. So come see us, guys. We're open seven days a week. We're also online at www.gearupfl.com. Once again, thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit that like button. It'll be much appreciated. Also, check the blog post on our website about stun guns as well if you would rather see it in print and read it too. So thanks, guys.